Hello students, Jai to all, this is Vivek Sivasusar and I am here with Geography related to class 6 and I will describe you the topic the Earth and the Solar System. Uh, this is the very first chapter of your book. So just uh, try to understand what is the Earth and what is the celestial bodies, what is Moon. We will, uh, discuss it a little bit about this topic before starting the complete chapter so just see uh, we all have seen the sky after sunset you all have seen right so one of first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky soon uh, you should see remember see the number of increasing firstly we see one or two dots, shining dots in the sky. After that, these numbers increased. So, and after that, all the sky will fill little little dots. And that's dots are some shining objects that we can see from the earth. Some are bright. Okay. So, others are dim. It seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds okay studded with the diamonds little diamonds they all appears to be twinkling but if you look at them carefully you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do they simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines along with these bright objects you may also see the moon on the most of the days it may however appear at different times in different shapes and different positions you can see the full moon only once in about the most time clear it is full moon night and in hindi it is known as purnima okay you can see it uh, at all it is a new moon and the new moon is known as amavasya on the amavasya night from next day it is start up new moon so on this day you can watch the night sky best provided it is clear night do you uh, wonder why can't we see the moon at all those bright td objects during daytime why we are unable to see the moon and the td bright objects that we see in the sky that is due to the sunlight okay the sun shines very brightly so we are unable to see these kind of object in the daytime okay so the sun and the moon all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies so the question will be what is celestial body or what are celestial bodies so the answer you will reply the sun or moon or any shining object that we can see in the sky known as celestial bodies some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases and uh, they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amount these celestial bodies are called stars so what is star or what are stars so stars are a, a very huge uh, big and hot celestial bodies they have they are made up of gases and they have their own light clear okay so uh, can Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun, but we cannot see them as big as we see the sun because they are far away from the earth. Okay, the, dip, uh, the distance between earth and these stars are more than the earth and between sun. Clear? Okay. So. 
you must you must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from distance how small an aeroplane looks it is uh, flying at a great height you see that uh, like uh, aeroplanes are jets we can see from the earth they look smaller than they are actual in their body okay so while watching the night sky you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations so uh, ursa major or big bear in one such constellation one of the most easily recognizable constellation in the is the saptarishi there is a combination of seven stars that sit together known as saptarishi uh, and uh, it is a group of seven stars that forms a part of ursa major constellation ask someone elder you can ask in your family that is what is saptarishi and how these seven stars are popular why in ancient time people used to determine direction during the night with the help of stars the north star indicate the north direction and uh, it is also known as the pole star because north is a pole north and south pole we know two poles we have uh, uh, discussed uh, in the earlier classes or you can, uh, you will uh, see in the physics classes on the magnetism north and south poles okay so it always remains in the same position it means the north star is remain every time in that position we can uh, locate the position of the pole star with the help of saptarishi some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light then how will they uh, get lights or how can we see them shining because of the lights of the sun or other celestial bodies or other big stars okay so lights of these stars and the sun uh, came to that part and we can see them shining okay then those don't have their heat and light are known as planets clear the word planets come from the greek word planta which means wanderers the earth uh, on which we live is a planet it uh, gets its heat and light from the sun which is our nearest star if you look in the earth from the greater distance uh, say the moon it is appear to be shining just as the moon okay in the next video i will describe you the solar system and uh, before this topic you must read the book properly and uh, it will help to understand all the related topic till then have a nice day thank you